At the end of the ride, there's the graveyard. The remains at Bob's used motorcycle parts in Phoenix, Arizona, have their glory days behind them. Showdown in the scrapyard. To be sure, something for professionals. Michael Knoblauch is a German auto mechanic who has lived for 16 years in Phoenix. Das ist wieder, äh, wie das it's like the playroom of my young son. When I go in, it looks about the same. A mess, but he knows where everything is. With two exceptions, the guys who work here have been with us since the very first day. Ask the right one and he'll take you to the place where in the middle of this mess, he believes you'll find the part you seek. The size of three football pitches, a huge playground for bike fetishists. At the beginning, the guys just started taking old bikes apart, filling the racks with spare parts and then selling them. But as you can see, it all got a bit out of hand and it was never possible to do things in an organized way, systematically. But bad luck for one person, big profits for another. The written-off bikes can be bought at auction from the insurance companies for not more than $50. Over the past years, I've thought a lot whether if all the people who have ridden these machines, if they all turned up here and told their stories about how their bike came to end up here, wouldn't that be interesting? I reckon it would make a big, fat book. The dry climate here is the reason that the old bikes here are well preserved. Rust is simply not an issue here in Arizona. Machines which have spent their whole lives in these parts, even when the paintwork is gone, they are free of rust. Just take a look at these aluminium parts here. If you left stuff like this lying around in Germany, it would look a lot worse. There'd be almost nothing left. Das würde viel, viel schlimmer aussehen. Das ist gar nicht ja. Da will gar nichts mehr von mir. But the perfect weather is not an advantage for all bike parts. Das Plastik. Plastic, that decays. The humidity here is below 10% yearly average, and it can go up to 55 degrees in the shade. Organic materials, lacquer, leather, rubber, cannot possibly survive. Leder, Gummi, das überlebt hier einfach nicht. With 15,000 bikes in the scrapyard, this is almost the perfect place for bargain hunters. Michael explains that Bob generally asks for a third of the normal selling price. But with a bit of good humored banter and a friendly attitude, an even better price can often be negotiated. Mm. Was würdest du sagen, wird dann der Bob für sowas verlangen? Der nimmt normalerweise ein Drittel vom regulären Verkaufspreis. Ein Drittel, das heißt 800, 250 oder so. So in dem Dreh. Und wenn, wenn du freundlich bist und nett bist und ein bisschen mit ihm äh, Witze machst und sowas, dann kriegst du vielleicht noch einen kleinen Rapper. <lacht> in the land of opportunity, nothing is impossible. On the spot, the newly acquired part can be installed on the buyer's machine. Here in Arizona, there are not so many rules and regulations that have to be observed. As long as you have a bike which was at one time registered as street legal, you can modify it and rebuild it to your heart's content. Only the emissions values have to be respected, nobody else is involved. Pass the annual check and everything else is legal. America, the customizer's paradise, with only one drawback. All these batteries, all that acid, the environmental inspectors won't find that funny. Bad for the environment, but good for scrap trader Bob. Even in America, the biker world is not perfect. A gold mine? For Bob, yes. Just do the math. For something like this, he pays between 20 and 50 bucks. And each component he sells costs the buyer about the same. And he knows exactly which parts are valuable and which are not. 
Interested in bike spare parts and ready to dig into the piles of scrap, then Bob's used motorcycle in Phoenix, Arizona is the place for you.